Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an inventory update plus a little announcement which you probably already know by the title of this video and if you follow me on Instagram at Vicky, same way it's spelled here, you would know that I am about to start a no buy until SAS pretty much in June. So that's going to be about a month and a half of a no buy. I'm not going to be buying a lot of stuff and so I'll get into that later but I do really want to do an inventory update. I haven't done one of these since February so I do kind of just want to keep you guys up to get up to date and also like myself I need to go through this whole sheet that I have here and like really think about where my numbers are. Are they where I want them to be? You know kind of like a quarterly check-in um, of where my numbers are at and you know if I need to step up my game maybe I I'm doing good, I'm on track. Um, so yeah, I just kinda wanna look at everything and see where I'm at and update you guys on that as well. So let's go ahead and get into the inventory numbers. So I do have a um, spreadsheet and I will link mine down below, my spreadsheet that I use to track a lot of this stuff. And I have one spreadsheet where I have like literally every single product that I own listed out. And then I have a different spreadsheet that tracks my monthly total numbers and how many I increase the numbers by or decrease the numbers by. So we are going to start off with my makeup category. Now my makeup, um, I haven't actually been too worried about the size of my makeup collection. In the past couple of years, I've really just kind of gone down on how much I buy. Um, knowing that either I'm not wearing it because I'm wearing a face mask, you know, I'm not wearing any face makeup because of that um, or lipstick or any sort of lip products lately I have not been wearing that but also like I don't need you know 10 million eyeshadow palettes so I've been doing pretty good with that um, so at the start of um, 2021 I had 161 makeup products and now I have 150 so I used up 11 of those um, let's see if I bought any new stuff I bought a new liquid eyeliner in February. Literally, that's it. That's the only thing I bought in 2021 so far for makeup is one liquid eyeliner. That's pretty good. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did get a new mascara um, because I actually ran out of all of my mascara. So I did get one new mascara and one new eyeliner in all of 2021. I think that's pretty dang good. I've used up 13 makeup products. I bought two new ones. So I really have decreased my collection by 11, which is not bad. Um, I definitely want to keep dwindling down my makeup collection because I have multiples of a lot of things and I don't need like five different foundations and stuff like that. So I'm um, just really focusing on the things that I want to use up and be being very sparing with my makeup purchases. For skincare, my skincare collection has decreased. So at the start of 2021 in January, I had 51 skincare products and now I have 39. So I've decreased my skincare collection by 12, which is pretty good. So in 2021, I have increased my, like I've bought seven, eight, nine, 10 skincare products and I've used up 17. So pretty good. Um, I've definitely been using up a lot of stuff and actually going to like zero on some categories like my cleansers. Uh, no, actually, I think it was my moisturizers. I went all the way down to zero. Um, and so I did repurchase some of those things, but I'm doing pretty good on my skincare collection. It's taking me a while to get through things, which I'm realizing now I don't need to have a back stock of stuff because it'll go bad. Skincare does go bad. So just trying to get through that um, for my hair care. I've actually been doing really good. I started off 2021 with 47 hair products and now I'm down to 31. Um, so I think the only things that I've bought are shampoo and conditioner because I literally got down to zero. Yeah, so so far I have bought one, two, three hair products. That's it in 2021. And I've used up, I've used up 17. So yeah, definitely getting through a lot of hair care. Um, I have a lot of like hair oils and stuff that I just need to like finish and use um, before purchasing any new stuff. I definitely want to get um, pretty much every category of hair products down to zero. So, or not zero, down to one, I guess. And then zero, yeah. But um, really doing good on my hair care collection. Now let's move on to the stuff that I am not doing so hot on and that is body care and candles so we are going to start off with candles 
Um, I have not actually been tracking my wax purchases, so like wax bars um, or la wax clams. Um, I just kind of like got into that in the last couple of months and so I don't really want to limit myself to that yet. I'm not at a point where I'm concerned with the size of my collection on that so I don't feel like I need to track that. Um, but this is for all home fragrance. So for wallflowers, I started off in January at three and now I'm down to zero actually. All the ones that I had left over are now plugged in. Um, one is downstairs in the kitchen, one's in the, ki the bathroom downstairs, and one is in the garage downstairs. So they're all being used and I have zero wallflowers. Um, broom sprays, I had two at, at the start of 2021. I still have two. I'm not really using uh, room sprays pretty much at all. Um, car fragrance, I started out in January at four. I used up three and I also purchased a few. So I purchased three different ones. So I'm still at the same number of car fragrance refills, which is okay to me because I don't really want to use ones that aren't in the season. As long as I'm not increasing that, then that's good to me. For candles, I started out this is three wicks and single wicks. I started out in January with 42 and now I'm down to 30. So I really do want to get that collection to um, 21, which means I have nine more candles to finish. So that's going to be a little difficult. Um, I kind of want to do that before I start going crazy. Hopefully I can do that before the fall. Um, at the rate I've been going, I've been using about three or four candles per month. So that will take me maybe three months. Um, so maybe by the end of SAS, I can start buying again. I really want to get that in a good place um, for when fall comes around again because I love purchasing fall candles. But I do actually have like six candles that I have stored away to be exchanged. So I kind of have only like 24 candles if you don't include the ones that I'm going to exchange. Um, but I am going to include them because eventually, you know, they're going to get a replacement and I don't want that to make my collection size go up. Um, because it doesn't count as just a replacement. So for candles, I had been doing a four out, one in rule, which means for every four candles that I finish, I can purchase one. So that goes for four three wicks, I can purchase one three wick, and then four single wicks, I can purchase one single wick. So I have used up nine three wicks. So I allowed myself to get two three wicks and I did purchase two separate three wicks. And that was Ice Blueberry Biscotti and Pumpkin Donut Shop, which I got off Mercari. And for one wicks, I have finished up six different one wicks. I have not purchased a new one wick. I actually have two that I have on standby to exchange later on if I want to. Um, and I, yeah, I don't think I'm going to purchase single wicks from now on unless they are either specifically a bathroom scent or in like exclusively a single wick packaging. Otherwise I would purchase it in the three wicks. So that's my new kind of mantra for single wicks, but for candles, I am doing pretty good. Um, I've been sticking to the four out, one in rule. I've been using them a lot um, and really getting my collection down to where I feel like it's a little more manageable. Um, once I get down to like 22, then I'll really feel good about where my collection is at and hopefully like not feel overwhelmed basically. So that's it for candles. Now for body care. So body care. Okay, I started out in January with 104 and now I'm only down to 90. So technically I've only used like 14 products, which is like really sad to me. Um, but I'm going to walk you through what I finished. So I've finished one, two, three body washes and I've purchased two. So I really only decreased that by one. For body scrubs, I started out with four and now I'm down to two. So that was really good. I used up actually two, uh, one mini and one full size. And then for body oils, I started out with two and now I'm down to one. For pocket backs, I started out with eight and about six and only used up like two. So I, I have like 12 right now. They're all spread out in different places. Um, I don't really feel like I have that many because I only have three like in storage. All the rest of them are being used. Kind of okay with where that collection is at. For um, lotions, I started out with 14 
and now I'm only down to 13. I've used up two and I bought one. So that's like my big problem here is I'm using up stuff, but I'm buying stuff too. So it's not making a difference in the collection. Um, for body creams, I start out with five, but I used up one and I bought one. So I still have five. For hand creams, I start out with eight and now I'm down to six because I did purchase one and used up three. For body mist, I start out with 17 and I've only used up one, so I'm at 16. For perfume, I start out with eight and now I am down to six. I'm doing pretty good on perfume. Um, for body butter, I'm still only at one. I had one that I bought um, in the uh, winter and I haven't really used it that much, but um, for minis, I start out with eight and now I'm down to five. I'm doing actually pretty good with minis. Um, I'm about to finish one right now actually, so that's pretty good. Um, and then hand soaps, I start out with 15 and now I'm down to nine. So I've used up six hand soaps and I think I have purchased one. So really like the problem is that I'm still buying even though I'm using up stuff. So the numbers are not moving as much as I'd like them to. So my numbers for things that I brought in are 13. Like I, it needs to be a lot lower than that. Um, it's not going at a rate that I'm comfortable with. I really am feeling overwhelmed by the body washes, the um, lotions, the body mists, and kind of the body creams. I only have five right now, it's not that crazy, but I really don't need to purchase more because I need to finish them before they go bad. Um, so really, <laughs> my thoughts for SAS are that I have too much stuff that I don't need to buy things. So uh, for the next month, I want to go on a no buy, no body care, no candles, no skincare, no hair care, and no makeup, unless it is a repurchase. So if I run out of all of my concealers, I can buy a new concealer, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna run out of any body care or any candles in the next month and a half. Um, so until SAS happens, which is usually, I think like the first or second week in June, I cannot buy anything until then. And I'm really just gonna try and turbocharge, use up a lot of products. Um, I wanna be able to purchase for SAS, but if my numbers are so large that I'm uncomfortable with it, I really shouldn't be. Um, Right now, I'm kind of thinking maybe for SAS, I'll only purchase mini body care items, hand soaps, maybe hand lotions, pocket backs, and that's like probably gonna be it. Maybe like two candles. Um, I'm gonna have to be very picky with what I get basically. And summer SAS is never like super crazy for me. Yes, I love getting stuff at SAS because it's such a good find. Um, but my favorite time of year is fall and winter if you couldn't tell i like have the whole orange thing going i have the sweater on it's actually like 60 degrees today in houston this never happens this far into the year or at least even in spring um so i'm like super living my fall fantasy i have a vanilla chai candle going in the back along with i think sugared snickerdoodle yeah sugared snickerdoodle um so i'm living it up but yeah for now i'm gonna try and get all these numbers down um, I'm just really uncomfortable with where my body care is at. I am using stuff and that's great, but I'm also bringing too much in. So I really need to focus on decreasing those numbers. I actually have like, I have two body washes that are almost done. I have a lotion that's almost done. Um, I have a body cream that I could probably finish in the next month and a half along with another lotion. So like I have numbers that I can finish quickly. Um, pretty soon. So if I just focus on finishing those things and not bringing more things into my collection, then we'll be good. But for now, we're not getting things. Um, I do, however, have, like I said, six, six candles on standby that I can exchange. And I do also have a lot of body care that I can exchange as well. I think I have um, four lotions, three shower gels, and two body sprays that I can exchange. And that's a lot, that's a lot of good stuff. So maybe if I find some stuff at SAS that I wanna get, I can exchange things. 
um, if I need to, and that way my numbers won't rise. I will just be exchanging them for something else. Um, so I'm thinking that's what I'm going to end up doing. I also though, I'm not sure if I wanna keep all those exchange items for new fall stuff because fall is my favorite time of year. And if I can get the stuff like right away because I don't have to pay full price for it if I do an even exchange, then maybe that's a better idea. So let me know down below what you guys think I should do. Do you think I should keep all of my exchange stuff for when the new fall stuff comes out in like early August? Um, and just wait until then and then I can get the, the full price stuff before it goes on sale, the brand new fall stuff, or should I just start exchanging stuff now or during SAS? What do you think I should do? I have a few things that are on my wish list that I could exchange for, but at the same time, me thinking forward to fall, I am so looking forward to it. And I could see myself just like going crazy on like maybe August 2nd on my birthday and just going in there and buying all the fall stuff that's new. Um, so yeah, I could see either way going. So let me know what you guys think down below and let me know some um, numbers that you're really proud of. So what in your um, collection are you really proud of decreasing or maybe you're proud of increasing it? Who knows? Maybe you're just starting out with your um, candle collection and you're increasing it and you're really happy with where it's at. Let me know down below. I think my, um, my big thing this year is my hair care inventory and I'm actually very I'm very proud of where it's going. I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff. I used to have a full drawer of hair care products and over the last year, so 2020 included, I have just been like finishing off a bunch of old products that I didn't need to keep around for six years. So very proud of where my um, hair care inventory is going and yeah, very, proud of those numbers but yeah that's everything for this inventory update and this no buy introduction so wish me luck over the next month and a half i know i can do it so i just gotta stay strong but thank you guys so so much for watching if you like this video like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.